hey guys let us understand some calculations related to time like calculation of working hours working hours excluding the break time and how to calculate the overtime also so before that we should understand what is a date and what is a time so if i insert today's date with control semicolon as the shortcut that's a date and if i press control shift semicolon that's the time now every date is a number in the background and how to check that when you click on this comma formatting or maybe just go to general formatting you will see a number behind every date what is this number so if you type let's say one and if you convert it into a date format then what you will see 1st of Jan 1900 that means it starts from 1st of Jan 1900 and till today this is 44,324 days so that is a date okay similarly time is also a number date is a integer I mean whole number but time is a fraction if you see the number behind this 1027 that means 0.93 so 24 hours is equal to one day currently 93 percent of the day is gone if you try to type 6 am then that is equal to 0.25 days that means one fourth of the day if you combine time and date together control semicolon space control shift semicolon both of them are combined together so that is a decimal the first five digits are corresponding to our date and the part after the decimal is corresponding to our time okay now keeping this in mind let us go to the working hour calculations so now for these employees this is the time in when they entered the office and this is time out when they went out of the office okay so this is a number this is a number okay but this number is higher number than this number it is occurring at a later stage so you just need the difference of 2 d3 minus c3 and press enter and you will get this kind of numbers but to see it in time press ctrl 1 and you can go for h colon mm means hours and minutes then you will see it like this okay but you can see here the person is coming here on 26th april 9 30 morning and he is going out 27th april 5 22 evening but here it is showing only 7 hours and 52 minutes the reason for this is the formatting so after every 24 hours it resets the clock so you need to format it in a particular way and you need to put your h in square brackets and when you click ok now you can see it is adding those 24 hours which it removed by resetting the clock now what is your overtime overtime is nothing but this time minus your normal working hours okay so that's very simple you cannot simply subtract 8 out of this 8 is a number and this is a fraction so what you need to do you need to multiply this with 24 to get it in number of hours okay and we can now convert it into a decimal so here it was appearing in our format here it is the numeric integer corresponding to that time now out of this you can simply subtract your normal working hours which is 8 press enter so wherever it is more than 8 it will show positive number wherever it is less than 8 it will show negative number if you are having hourly rate for overtime then just multiply overtime hours with that rate which is currently 50 and press enter so this is the cost which you need to pay you may deduct or may not deduct the negative values okay so you can delete those things if you want okay now so main thing is calculating working hours subtracting your normal working hours out of that to calculate the overtime okay now let us understand this situation here our date and time are in different columns date out time out different columns so how to get your normal working hours because overtime is just an addition to that so here what you need to do you need to first add 
your date plus your time so that gives you timestamp for time in okay similarly you need to calculate timeout by adding your timeout date plus your time and now you can simply take the difference of timeout minus time in and then you can follow the same process which we used in the previous exercise so this is if you want to just keep the hours in display go for this go for this formatting and that will display the time and over time you know how to calculate it after that let us assume these columns were not there so what you could have used is this plus this minus this date minus that time and that will also give you same results now how to calculate total working hours without the breaks you came to work at this time and you left the work at this time so this minus this then plus okay you left work here and you joined work after this break so that is your working hours excluding your break time so normally he was working for 9 hours and 20 minutes but excluding the break time he is only 8 hours and 25 and then again you can continue overtime calculation process so these calculations will work better if your timestamp is having date and time together in one single cell and they are all in proper time format like when we click on comma that should give us a number otherwise it will be difficult to handle so that was it from my side on working hour and overtime calculations hope you found it useful please like the video share it with your friends and colleagues and provide your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video